I'm going to show you guys how to remove the background image of this headshot right here by just using the tool PowerPoint. So without further ado, let's get started. On this slide, what I want to do is I want to replace this awesome headshot with a different headshot. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to paste in this girl right here. And what I want to do is instead of having this guy right here as the main focal point for this slide, I want to actually somehow figure out how I'm going to remove all this background right here and just have her body show up in this PowerPoint slide. So for the first step, you want to find the image that you're actually trying to remove the background image of. Next, what you're going to want to do is you want to select that image that you're trying to remove the background of and go up here to picture tools and format. Now in format, if you go all the way to the left, you're going to see this thing called remove background. So I'm going to click on this. All right. So as you can see here, PowerPoint has actually detected the components that are going to stay in the picture. And then everything that's in purple is actually going to be deleted. So let's say I like this for some reason and I want to say keep changes. So if I hit this green check right here, it's now going to remove everything but the stuff that wasn't colored in purple. And so obviously that wasn't the perfect background removal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that format and then I'm going to hit remove background again. And now I'm going to try to finesse this in a way so that I can perfectly remove the background and just leave in her body and get rid of all the rest that's behind it. So as you can see, when I did do keep changes, it got rid of everything that was in purple, but we're still missing that left arm of hers and her hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to mark areas to keep. I'm going to click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control and then scroll. And this is how you can zoom into the image to really fine tune what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. And I want to try to get more of her hair back in this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and start dragging this pencil tool over her hair and try my best to only get her hair in this and not the background. And then I'm just going to close this loop. Now I'm just going to let go. And now it just added in that hair right there. And then I also noticed right here that I forgot a little piece of the hair. So I'm just going to zoom in even more and highlight that right there. All right, that's looking pretty good. It's not going to be perfect because this is PowerPoint. So don't expect anything amazing. But now we're going to focus on this arm right here. So I'm going to just scroll down. Let's try to get this arm included. So I'm just going to be highlighting this here. It's a little bit leggy right now. So apologies about that. And all right. So I'll go back and add the rest of her arm in a little bit but I just wanted to get that section off first. It's looking a little better. It's coming together. So now let me zoom in a little bit more. All right. So now what I'm going to do is fix this part right here, get more of her arm. And I'm just highlighting this as I'm going right here and just closing it off. Let's see how that looks. All right. We still need to add a little bit more. And you can also like fill this all the way in if you want to as well. That's just another way of doing it. That might actually make it a little bit more accurate. So let me see how that does. Okay, that helped a lot. And as I was doing that, it started recognizing other parts of this picture that it needs to include. So there were some parts over here that I also need to include, but because I did the arm, it was able to figure out the actual entire headshot that should be included. So let me now say keep changes and let's see how this result looks. All right, so it's not bad. This hair's looking a little kind of eh. So I want to show you guys another trick I like to do after I do remove background. So if you go here to insert and then go here to shapes and then go here to freeform scribble, click on this and now zoom in a little bit and we're going to actually get a little extra creative with this. So I'm actually going to just click and drag and I'm going to be drawing it like so. And usually your headshots might not be this complicated if you don't have all this hair going on. I mean, if you do, it might take a little bit of extra time, but that's just what you got to do to remove things. And then so now that I have that selected, let me click on my image and then click on this shape. Go here to format, merge shapes, subtract. All right, that got a little bit more. And let me just get rid of this section right here as well. So I can actually go in here go to format, remove background. And let me see if I can easily remove that. So I'm going to go here and get rid of this section right here. Let's see how that looks. All right. It's looking pretty good. I can even get rid of maybe this stuff right here. All right, so another interesting thing that I noticed is that because I cut out part of this image, it has these dotted lines showing right here. So we're not gonna mess around too much with that section, but we're just gonna say keep changes. 
And there we go. And let's go back to shapes and maybe fix this up even a little bit more, just so it's a little bit smoother. So I'm just gonna go along our hairline right here. And we're just gonna get rid of this piece right here, just cause it's kind of hard to make that look good. All right, and then we'll do a solid fill and then we'll click on the image first, then the shape and then go to format, merge shapes and then subtract. And so now that's looking a lot better and let me, just increase this to be like so, put it right here. And now let's put in presentation mode and see kind of what this looks like. I think this is actually turning out a lot better than I expected. So let's put in presentation mode. All right, that's not looking bad. So there's a little bit of extra background right here and it's kind of choppy right here. So. Let me fix that up real quick just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So we can go back to insert, shapes, scribble, and then we can go right here. Let me just clean this up and then click the image again first and then the shape, format, merge shapes, subtract, and then we'll clean up right down here. Go to insert, shapes, scribble, and then go down here. Just get rid of that piece. All right, click the image, shape, format, and then merge shapes, subtract. All right, we're looking a lot better now. So let's put it back in presentation mode, see how that looks. Okay, so I think that's pretty good if you ask me. And you don't have to use any special outside program like Photoshop or anything. You can do this all in PowerPoint. Obviously, if you just wanna stick with the remove background, you can work that a little bit as well just to get those extra pieces out as well. I just like to sometimes tune it up with that scribble drawing feature to really get precise, but the options are up to you. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, if you are interested in learning all things related to PowerPoint, I do have a course available in the description below, so make sure to check out for that. Lastly, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.